Do I worry about exercising while on vacation? Oh, yes. Hi, this is Debbie, and welcome back to the Starch Frenzy. I thought I would just share a little bit about our recent vacation. We were recently up at our lake place and decided one day to go to beautiful Tallulah Gorge. Here, my daughter and I set off for a day, it was a beautiful sunny day, uh, to tour the park, and we started off on the North Rim Trail. Uh, we decided that that would be a beautiful day to go walking. The temperature was moderate, and we thought it would just be a great day to enjoy nature while getting exercise as well. And it's just a beautiful shaded wooded area overlooking this gorgeous gorge in Tallulah Falls. Now, it's, uh, we're at the top overlook here, and we're looking way down at the bottom, and, and the views are just stunning. You can hear the water rushing. Uh, I didn't on our little hike, we did come upon this warning sign. I read it, and I did realize that it was quite a ways down to the bottom, and I had no original intent for even going all the way down there. We could see, you know, how um, beautiful it was from the bridge, or and which is about halfway down, and that's strenuous enough. I'm not exactly sure how we ended up at the very bottom of the gorge, but <laughs> it was just... One more step, one more step, and here we are. Oh, I wish you could have been there. It was absolutely breathtaking. The only thing is, now we have to get back up at the top. And oh my gosh, wait till you see this set of stairs. And this is just one of many. Up and up and up. Well, we just started, and we thought, well, we'll just rest along the way. Well... <laughs> We would get to each landing, and we would have to sit there about five or ten minutes before we could get enough energy to keep on going. And sometimes we had little kids pass us, but we kept on going anyways, and we finally made it to the very, very top. But let me tell you, we were exhausted. When we got back to the car, we thought we were going to die, but we didn't. I'm still here today. Okay, now, well, it's the next day, and I just wanted to share with you how I felt this morning. I thought for sure I would wake up in the morning and feel all stiff, but really, surprisingly enough, I don't feel that way at all. I, I feel nice and limber and no soreness. <laughs> I was shocked. So, because I don't do that kind of hiking every day, certainly. Um, so, what I wanted to just uh, leave you with is there are other ideas that you can uh, do when you're on vacation. And you may not always be at a park or may not always be doing um, hiking um, or that type of outdoor activity. Let's say you're visiting New York City or Chicago or perhaps just a good friend in a neighborhood and your main vacation is just to be with them. My suggestion would be, and this is what I try to do, is take walks around the area and just get some movement in. I try for about 30 minutes a day if possible and ideally it would be 45 minutes or even an hour. But a little bit each day certainly helps and just when I'm on vacation I try not to forget the exercise because it really helps me feel better. However, I do have to keep in mind that it's all about what I eat. If I go out and splurge on something I shouldn't have that night, that's going to far more undo my progress than just skipping a day of exercise. But I wanted to focus on exercise in this video. So please leave me some comments down below on what you do, if you do, um, plan on exercising while you go on vacation. I'd love to hear your ideas. And thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with someone you think could um, enjoy it. And thank you so much. I hope to see you real soon. Bye now.